Ladies and gentlemen, your home run derby champion, Matt Antonelli. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back with another episode of Road to the Show. If you notice, I'm being a little bit quiet because I've been downstairs. It's been very quiet. It's early in the morning. The sun's coming up. My kids are sleeping, and I don't want to wake them up. I'm assuming I will because I'm probably going to scream at the television at some point soon. Um, I don't even know. Did I say back with another episode of Road to the Show? I may have. I'm so nervous. It's franchise mode. We're building the Red Sox back up to win a World Series. Why am I sticking my face so close to the phone? I don't know that either. I've made a bunch of trades lately, okay? Lots of trades. The one I made last night, I don't even know why I made it. Let's go over them. I think we're still headed in the right direction, but sometimes I just start making trades just because they're fun to make. It might be dangerous putting me in an actual front office position, especially the general manager. One more thing, TCH12, I think. I'll put it up here, but I don't have it on me right now. When I edit this, I'll throw it up. He said, when are you making the next episode of Red Sox Rebuild? I was reading through my YouTube comments. I said, maybe today. Then I said, no, no, I'm gonna do it today, okay? I said, I'm gonna go film right now. That's what we're doing, filming right now. All right. Um, Let's see here. What are we looking for? We're looking for um, transactions. So I need your help. This is what I've done lately. Oh, let's go to the Red Sox. Oh, Red Sox. All transactions. Trades. Okay. Here we go. Let's start at the very bottom. Um, we've already done some of these things. Where are the trades that I need to see? Okay, so, man, I've made so many. I don't know where we are. Acquired Blake Snell, you guys already know that. Okay, so here we go. Acquired right uh, relief pitcher, Jake Fishman. So what I did was I started trading away some uh, prospects. I kept trying to trade away three prospects for a better prospect. So I needed to try to get an A prospect or a couple of them, or at least close, maybe a, a good B prospect, because I really need a right fielder and a left fielder, and I need a bullpen too. So I did a bunch of those. You guys probably don't know who any of these people are, but I just kept doing it. I kept trading away prospects for better prospects, trade away prospects for better prospects. Now I got myself some A prospects. I got this Victor Victor Mesa guy. He's an A prospect. I got myself this Dan Cologne guy, I think, A prospect. Then I went out and I acquired uh, Lamont Wayne Jr. He was an A prospect, or he is an A prospect, and I traded Yasiel Puig for him. I had to trade Jeter, Jeter Downs too, but he was like a B prospect. The reason I traded Yasiel is because, you know, I'm not gonna use Yasiel next year. He's only on a one-year deal. The reason I signed him in the first place was to get some value out of him and then trade him. So I got rid of him and a few other guys get another A prospect. Then I got another A prospect. I got Ryan Weathers. Um, hold on one second. I did more trades in this last night. Why is it not showing it? I hope I saved it right. I think I did. Okay. So then, um, oh man, maybe I did it. It should be showing. I'm going to be really upset if it doesn't show what I did last night because I was wheeling and dealing, but let's check for it in a second. So then I got Ryan Weathers from the Padres, an A prospect. And I got this Ramos guy and I traded Brandon Morrow, Lamont Wade Jr. and Bradley Beals, who's the half cousin of Bradley Beal. Um, Morrow, very good closer for us, right? He was like a high 80s uh, overall, but we had signed him earlier too to a one-year deal. You know, he could help us win a World Series this year, no doubt. But I wanted to get something for him because he's only on a one-year deal again. I don't want to just lose him for nothing. So I got some really good players. Now, why is it not showing who I made? I made some big trades last night, guys. Oh, my God. It didn't save. Why did it do this again, guys? I am so disappointed. So disappointed. 
I went right here. I clicked on this. I went in here and hit this. This is what I did last. Oh no. <laughs> I did that and then I shut the game off. I didn't even get to this point and go down here and click on that. Wow, guys. That is depressing. That's very depressing. Now I have to remember what I did. Okay. Remember I said, I did actually say this yesterday or at the beginning of this, I said, man, I went so crazy last night that I was making these nuts trades, one that I wasn't even so sure I wanted to do. But the good news now is that you guys can help me. So the first thing I did is I went here and I signed Brian Dozier. And why did I do that? Well, I did that because our, our bench stinks right now. I think I signed him to like an $8.5 million deal. Let's see. Yeah, I did, but I'm gonna try to get him for 8.3. I'm gonna try to rip you off 200,000, Brian. You don't even know that I'm doing it to you. Ha! Saved myself 200,000, thank you so much. I also went out and I, st I signed Steve Ciszek. I did, because our bullpen is horrendous. It's horrendously bad. So let's get him again. Steve and I went to a Patriots game. Worst Patriots game I ever went to against the Baltimore Ravens AFC Championship game. My agent called me up and said, hey, do you want to go to Patriots game? I was like, uh, yeah, I'm a huge Patriots fan. And then they have a few championship games. So I went to the game, got to sit in this beautiful box. I've actually thrown a video up about this. Steve was there um, and, uh, and it was awesome. But the game was terrible. Okay, so we got those. Oh, Ben Zobris is available. I mean, Benny. Yeah, I'm going to sign you too, Ben, just because I like your versatility. I didn't do this last night. But I am going to do this now just for um, what I like to say, shits and giggles. Whoa, you took it. For, you were real desperate. You took up my first offer. Okay, guys. So we have those three guys now. All right. So now what we need to do really quickly is we need to put them on our team. So I was not expecting to do all this today because I thought I already did it. But it's okay. You guys can sit here and do it with me. Okay. So we've got to add uh, you to the 40, man. And we got to add you to the 40 man. We have tons of 40 man space because I've gotten rid of everybody. All right, and now we've got to put you in the big leagues. So move them to the MLB. Yeah, we'd like to promote you. We're not going to play two guys that are old as dirt uh, in, uh, in double A. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually probably older than both of them. Am I? How old are you? Uh, where does it say his age? He's 32. He's so young. Oh, it says his age right there. He's 30. Okay, Ben, you're older than me by a good amount. Sorry, Ben. All right, so they're both in the big leagues. And um, and who else did I sign? Oh, Steve. Relief. You're in single A as a 33-year-old, Steve? That can't happen. Add you to the 40 man. And then, uh, did I just add him to the 40 man? Move him to the MLB. Yeah, I want to put him in the MLB. Okay. Okay, so now we're kind of getting back to what we did last night. Now, here's the last trade, and I can't really ask your guy. See, I was thinking like, oh, I could ask you guys if you like it. It doesn't matter. You can't even respond to me right now because we're not live. But this is what I did. I went here, and uh, oh, shoot, did I do anything before this? I feel like I might have. Well, I'm not sure. Let's just go check it out. So, Dodgers. All right, so we went to the Dodgers, and what I did was I went over here to Jock, okay? I got to think correctly. What did I do? I got Jock, and then, oh, then I got... Um, got Alex Wood. That's what it was. Alex Wood. Okay. Then I came over here. Avaldi. Beat it, Avaldi. So I traded Avaldi because look at this. Look at this contract. 17 million. I don't want this on the books. I just want to get rid of this guy. All right. I mean, Nathan, I'm sure you're a fine guy, but at 17 million for a 78 overall. No, I got over here. Blake Wood. Now he's a free agent after this year, but I'm gonna probably I'm gonna trade him again anyway. So I'm just taking him. I get rid of the 17. I bring back the four. I bring back um, I bring back a little Jock Peterson. You know he's same thing. He's a free agent. 
but I'm just clearing out Avaldi, bringing back these guys. See, here's the tough, tough part about trading Avaldi, and this is what took me a while last night. A lot of teams can't afford him because he costs too much. So I'm going to get rid of his, what, 17, and I'm going to bring back eight. I'm bringing back eight and um, four. But I can split them up in separate deals if teams can't afford them because they're two players, right? And so now this is what I had to do, though. I got to give away a prospect. And you might be saying, why are you giving away an A prospect, Matt? Well, this is I went through this all night long, and I couldn't get rid of him any other way. So I had to get rid of him. And then there was one more guy that I got rid of. And, uh, oh, no, not you, Evaldi. There's one more guy that I had to get rid of. Okay, here we go. This guy right here. You're 28. You're a B and you're 72. You're never going to play for me. All right, so you are going to go. So now I do have to give away a prospect for this. But I'm going to put in Jock Peterson in the lineup right now. I'm probably going to trade him at some point soon. I'm definitely going to trade him. I will not finish the year with Jock Peterson on the team because I'm not going to lose him for nothing. And Alex Wood, I'm going to put him in the fifth spot for right now in the rotation. But again, I'm going to trade him before the year is over because um, I'm not going to lose. You know, I, I don't lose anybody. I'm not. I'm, I'm never going to let a guy walk if he has if he's worth anything. I'm going to trade him. Okay, let's do the deal. Oh, I know what I did last night, guys. I just remembered. We're going to do it right now. So this is what else I did. Now, this is probably stupid. Should I even do it? I mean, I did it last night. So God, I'm, I'm, I did it last night. I'm going to do it again, okay? This is what I did. This might be stupid because I'm taking on a lot of money. But the only reason I'm taking this guy on, the only reason is because I got him for nothing. Nelson Cruz, $14 million, he's a free agent, so we will lose him. Look at this guy's hitting. He crushes, especially lefties, crushes them, right? And so we're going to take him, and I had to give away like nothing for him. I gave away like C prospects that stunk free agency like in 10 seconds. So he's gone, and then, uh, and then he's gone. Well, let's see. Uh, Plawecki is actually on my bench. But again, I can pick somebody up in 10 seconds off the scrap heap. So, and you know what? Because I'm just a weird guy, I'm going to take a prospect from you guys just for fun. Okay? Not going to give me this guy. I know that. Um, see, I just can't even just make a deal. And now I have to go and I have to try to get something else for him. Just give me one of your guys down here. They're interested in giving me both of these guys. And I want both of them. What's my I see I got a problem, guys. Okay. We'll take um we'll take you. There we go. All right. Wow, this episode is gonna be a long episode of like not even playing. Sorry about it, but this is just kind of to fill everyone back in on kind of what we're doing, what we're thinking. Now, let's go to um, um yeah, Nelson Cruz should be on the team. Okay, so now when we face a right handed hitter a right-handed pitcher, we need to get, um, all right, so the first thing we need to do, we need to get Jock in here because Jock absolutely crushes, he crushes, um, sorry, he crushes righties, yes. So he's definitely got to go in here. And then where else do I need a guy at? I need a guy in uh, left field, Nelson, or oh, right field. Okay, Nelson. Nelson can't really play defense at all, but that's okay. Oh man, yeah, Xander, you're coming down here because these guys both rake against, rake more than you do against righties. Jock really does, doesn't he? Well, he's got a ton of powers, contacts a little bit down. Okay, I like that lineup right there. And then when we come over here against a righty, we're gonna put in, we'll just put in Jock and um, right, we'll have JD and left right there. Okay, I like that. And now against lefties, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go Nelson right there because Nelson crushes lefties. Dominic Smith does not crush lefties. I don't believe he's okay against lefties. We're gonna move him down. Um, he's better though than Vasquez. And uh, is he better? 
No, he's not. Okay, that's fine. All right, and then over here, we're gonna go... Do we go Jock? Oh, Jock really struggles there. Whew. 37 and 54. Do we have someone? Do we start Zobrist? We could start Zobrist. Contact, 37. Contact, 73. Yeah, we just got, I think we just got to play Zobrist. How's this guy? Oh, that's our young guy. What's he doing up here? We'll put in Zobrist because I think Zobrist gives us a little bit more contact at least. All right, against the lefty. Okay, there we go. No, wait, hold on, guys. Guys, I need Nelson Cruz. What am I doing? Hold on. Oh, this is what the no this is what the no DH. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, Nelson. I got I got Nelson for this exact reason. I'm losing my mind. There we go. I don't care if there's three lefties. Well, yeah, I guess I do. Oh, because one of them's a pitcher. Yeah, we'll do that though. Oh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. Alright. So there we go. There's our lineup. Now we're good to go, guys. So now let me know what we need to do. Oh, you know what though? My, I might've just gutted my bullpen because I got rid of all those guys. Oh no, we're still okay. We need to put Alex Wood there. And uh, I might have, did I get rid of my backup catcher? I did. I don't have a backup catcher right now. We need a backup catcher. We can't expect Vasquez to catch every single day. Oh, Francisco Cervelli. Or Russell Martin. Who do we want? We'll take Cervelli. I played with Cervelli with the Yankees in AAA. Great guy. Lots of energy. Used to like to play music really loud. That's one of the main things I remember about him. Like to play music really, really loud in the clubhouse. Like excruciatingly loud. I don't know what kind of music. Reggaeton, I guess maybe you call it. All right, so now, Jesus, this is like running a real team, guys, because now I got to go over here. Yeah, I know. I made lots of trades. Don't worry. We're going to win the World Series. Now I got to add you to the 40, man. I don't even know how much room I have left, but well, apparently we have enough. And now you've got to come to the big leagues. Okay. And then the last thing I need to do... Like this guy right here, like why are you in the big leagues? You're 20 years old, go to AAA. Yeah, I don't care, go to AAA. We don't need you in the big leagues, go play a little bit. It's probably because we got two other guys in AAA. You, go to AA. Yep, sorry for the demotion. I know nothing about you. Finally, we're ready to play. Can we just save this right now just to make sure? Franchise. I can't believe I did all this last night and I just had to do it all over again. I'm even actually more surprised that I remembered what I did. All right, now I think we're set. Let's go play a game now, shall we? How do you play a game? Where are we in the standings? We're in second place, 50 and 37. Our defense is horrendous and our speed is even worse. No, it's not worse. I wish I knew how to count. Um, Maybe because we just got Nelson Cruz, auto fix the lineups. The Mets want to do a trade? I've done a thousand trades. <laughs> Ahmed Rosario, sorry, Ahmed. The, the Mets really are trying desperately to trade you both in real life and in video game life. Guys, I just remembered. How about that Lindor trade? Unbelievable. You want Raphael Dar What are you guys been drinking? No, I'm not taking that. Get out of here. All right, let's play, let's play Pittsburgh, shall we? Whatever. Just let's play. I'm going to player lock. And you know what? Let's player lock on one of our new guys. Let's player lock on Nelson. All right, let's look at our averages here. Damn. I mean, we're hitting pretty well, except for Christian Vasquez is struggling a little bit there. All right, so what else do we need to do here? This is not... We still need better options, I feel like. I shouldn't say better options in the corner outfield. I would like to do something where we can um, 
Joe Musgrove, the California. Oh, you know what I just realized, guys? Hold on one second. I don't have my headphones in right now. I just realized that. Hope it doesn't screw anything up. Let me turn this way down, though. You guys might be able to hear this. Hold on one second. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up. All right, very good so uh, I can't hear them now. I'm totally lost my mind. Uh, clearly, it's way too early in the morning. I always have my headphones on. I just realized I don't even have them on. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson. All right, Nelson. The right First offering on We're up three nothing. Beautiful. Ball, that's out. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they yeah, so how about that Lindor trade, huh? Big news for uh, for Mets fans. A skid. In fact, they've lost oh, seven man. of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, a lot of people are going nuts, obviously, because you got to be super excited. And you got a new owner, and uh, oh boy, that ball should have been hit over Nelson's face in left field. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. Time for a look at the umpires working this one behind the But right away, you, you just trade, like, blockbuster deal. You know, there are some people online, I mean, I guess you'll always find some people, they're like, this is silly, like, why are we giving up guys for Lindor? I don't understand them. But as an offensive what? player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just Damn, this guy just keeps throwing me cookies on in the inside, but I hate inside fastballs in this game. In real life, I like them, not in this game, though. Let that pitch go by. And oh, it's man. fouled away. Hung me that, but a little bit up and away. That's very late, like usual. He'll try it again, three and two. Oh, the damn shift. Wowzers. I'm not used to, I'm used to my headphones on. He just screamed out of my controller. That's the first time that's happened in a long time. No errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Boston. Man, I hit the hell out of that thing. Blake Snell, the South Park. Hey, Blake Snell. Here we go. This is what I was talking about before, guys. Padres saw me make this deal, and then they said, no, we want him. Oh, God, this is going to be dangerous, guys. I got to play right field with Nelson Cruz. We got bases loaded. I'm going to mess this up. Oh, come on, Nelson. Come on. Oh, my God, he's so slow. He's so slow. And I threw it to second. Shoot, I want to throw that ball home. Nelson, you are so slow. The volleyball literally in Castaway might be quicker. Uh, you guys might be too young to, to know. Oh, wait, that's Wilson, not Nelson. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I said it earlier, too. Said, Nelson, it's Wilson, you idiot, Matt. Come on. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, my God, then I rolled over. Throw to second for the force out and the side is Guys, I don't know if I can have Nelson Cruz in this game. He's so slow. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. We're back now as the Pirates line up readies for their third turn with the Yeah, bats. GM of the year. Manny Antonelli. Ready to go for the last half. Wow, I'm playing really on the line here. Why am I so far on the line? Gregory Polanco. Things now. There's a swing oh and a drive. God, that ball's crushed. Jump, Nelson. How do you... That one fly, a no doubt home run. My controller just yelled 1-1-1. One, one, one. That ball's hit 400 feet in the air, 380 feet, which means it went over the fence by about, I don't know, 40 feet. And he's yelling 1-1-1. One, one, one. Maybe that was Nelson yelling, and he thought for a second he was running. And if for some reason the ball didn't get out, we could have thrown him out at first. Pimp the ever-loving hell out of it. Ready once again, Adam Frazier. All right, man, that sun's coming up like right in my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, good, right there, Nelson. Just over there. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Somebody put a tent over that circus. This is bad. I can never again player lock on Nelson Cruz. Nelson wants to be sent back to Minnesota right now. Come on, Nelson, earn your paycheck. Oh, that ball's hit. That ball's hit. That ball's stung. That's right. I bought him. I traded for him. See that, guys? That's what he's here. 24 homers. That's what he's here to do. 24 home runs for him on the season, and it moves the Red Sox out to a 4-2 lead. 
That's one of those pitches you wish little doo doo breaking ball just stayed on it. So guys, I played against Nelson Cruz a lot coming up through the minors. He was kind of stuck in AAA for a little bit, and they'd like they'd send him up, and he wouldn't do well. He'd come back to AAA, and he would terrorize AAA. They'd send him up, he wouldn't do that good. They'd send him back, and he'd terrorize it. And boy, did he terrorize us! And you see that that ball that he just hit right there? That's what he did in AAA against us every single game. Like literally, oh my god! Oh my god! This is a complete circus out here. Had it the whole time though. So. I don't know how many times in my career I played second base and he had a home run way over my head. Like he just, he had the most awful power probably of anyone I've ever seen in AAA. This is literal, that exactly is what happened every at bat. And so we used to all say, this is funny actually, Ron, we gotta keep telling the story. Oh my God. We kept saying, well, that must be why he struggles in the big leagues. He can't pull the ball because he never pulled the ball in AAA. Pulled and the ball there. You heard me talking about it. We're not picking up nothing. I'm I didn't even round the bag. My speed is like a, a 10. So we always used to be like, well, maybe this guy just, you know, maybe that's why he struggles. He can't hit an inside Here's fastball. Jonathan maybe that's his thing. Uh, like, he just, you know, maybe he's just a AAA player and he's got a big hole in the swing. Well, clearly, he figured out a way to close that hole because now the guy has been... I mean, we're talking, this is back in 18, 18 years ago, 18 and a half years ago. Is that real life? Yeah, I played against Nelson Cruz and what? No, 18 years ago. What am I talking about 18 years ago? This is 12 years ago. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what I don't know what I've been doing 18 years ago. What did I, did I play baseball? And, did I play pro ball when I was two? This would have been 2008. So what's that? 12 years ago? 13 years ago? Of, of course we're scoring. We could have walked home. Okay. How long have we been playing for? We've been playing for 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes. Oh, my Lord. Nelson, turn around. Nelson's a veteran. He doesn't even need to see the ball hit. He knows where it's going. Talk about a dangerous two guys that both should be DHs in the lineup. J.D. Martinez and Nelson Two dangerous hitters right there, Nelson and uh, and JD. And when and when we don't have a DH, if we play an NL game and we've got them in the corners, like we're going to give up 15 runs a game. How many balls are they going to hit to me today? Is, is Blanco going to hit another ball over my head? Nope, I got this one. There we go, fellas. Big win. That baby Nelson. Yeah. You can thank the GM. All right, guys. So that's what we got right there. Um, I like the way the team looks. I was trying hard last night to trade Bogarts because he's got such a huge contract. I'd rather someone without it, as you know. But uh, it was hard to find anyone that could take him on because his salary is so huge. One team that I was able to find was the Colorado Rockies because I wanted to trade um, I wanted to trade him for Trevor Story. They wouldn't do it. I'd have to give up Trevor Story and then like two big time prospects for him. And uh, I might still do it. I haven't decided yet. But Trevor Story is a 97 overall. He'd be big time to get. I just don't know if I want to wipe out two of my best prospects. I don't even know if I can do it anymore because I just traded Weathers. So I might not be able to, but we might look into it. Let's, uh, let's, uh, one to two months. Yeah, he's got to go on here. Let's just sim just a couple of games. Oh, let's see the, the offer. Aguilar, no, I don't need him. Thanks for the offer though. Hi, Mia. Oh, Mia woke up. She must've heard me yelling about something. 
another, everyone wants to trade with me. They're like, they're like, dude, this guy's open for business. We'll just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving away a young prospect. Alex Wood, I just traded for you. It'll be out a few days. Just keep them active. All right, guys, we're at the All-Star game, looks like, Home Run Derby also. Um, so we're going to save it. Let me know what, what else we need to do. Mia, anyone that you think I should trade for in particular? Okay, good talk. Um, she grabbed onto her stuffed animal like she was afraid. Sorry. That's all we got. I'm going to go save the game. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We'll talk to you later.